The struggle is real. Crisp sheets tucked in on all corners, beautiful bed. But my toes are so mad. The top sheet pulling them down, curling them up under my feet. They aren't actually trapped. I can certainly move my legs and roll over, but even if I flex my feet, my toes do not respond. They feel that slight pull from the sheet and they don't want boundaries. And socks, they're the worst. With your toes curled up under your feet, inside your shoes, what are you to do? Oh yeah, fall, again, fantastic. And so, compromise. Sheets don't need to be tucked in. I don't need to wear socks, or do I? Right after my brain injury, I didn't even know adults could actually feel and control their toes. I certainly couldn't. I didn't even know to care. Why? Because boundaries didn't seemingly exist. Back then, I wasn't frustrated every single night yelling at my toes, mad at my sheets, nor was I smashing my fingers into the tops of my shoes each day trying to straighten out my toes. But I was falling a lot more, unaware that I was the one causing the problem. Sure, life without boundaries, superb, until you untuck the sheets on your finances, spending goes this way and that, and you find yourself cold with the sheets of your finances all tangled up over there on the floor, and you have no idea how the sheets of your money got all messed up, or your relationship. Why boundaries, you say? You were in this because they made you happy, but now they're stressed, kids, work, money, and conversations, situations, and um, their obligations that you don't like, you're not happy, and you can't continue to be pulled down. Um, hello, Whitney's toes. So, you take off those marriage socks. Let me be free. I want this life of mine, like these stinking toes. Move how, when, and where you want. Oh wait, now you stink. Oh, how easy it is to forget how long the first pair of shoes lasted and how much better your feet felt when you wore socks. And how much better your shoes stood the test when you were wearing socks too. And even in those muddy moments, your feet prevailed thanks to the socks. And the shoes did too, kind of like your sheets. Some nights you did have bad dreams, others you did go to sleep in a bad mood, but at least you woke up warm in the morning. Yeah, sometimes our shoes and our sheets and our marriages and our finances and our families need a little bit more TLC. A run through the wash and some deep cleaning which require more attention and boundaries. Why? If we had boundaries in the first place, you wouldn't be cold, waking up sick. Your feet, <clears throat> your finances, and your family wouldn't stink, all blistered up. And at church this past weekend, our pastor hit the nail on the head. He said, even marriages made in heaven still have to live in this world, just like everything else and all the rest of us. Yeah, us humans, boundaries are crossed. But their initial design, boundaries, by God weren't made to keep us in or hold us back. Boundaries by design, by His design, are for our hearts, for our joy. If boundaries did not exist, how would we know what contentment was or accomplishment? We wouldn't. We also would not know how to fulfill this ping in our hearts of desire. Yeah, we've all got it. Ice cream won't sustain it. Too bad. Neither will awards, babies, or tons of money. And that ping, it's from God. It's for God. And He is not compromised. He is the boundary that gives our satisfaction and our fulfillment. So sleep well and warm with Him in your heart. And walk with dignity. Even if you trip on your own toes, because you are on the right path. With His right boundary. Keeping you steadfast and fulfilled.